are building the Lego Vespa 125 set today. This set is released in 2022, inspired by the vintage 1960s Vespa, made up with 1,107 pieces and no minifigures. This one is retailed at 170 Australian dollars. I think pretty expensive given the amount of pieces. I have built a Loz scooter a while ago and that was a total disaster. So I believe that's actually fallen into pieces somewhere in my house and I've pretty much given up on that model. I do have more faith in the Lego version though. I'm sure it's going to be more stable and not fall apart too quickly. If you like my videos, please don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Let's now open the box and see what it looks like inside. This set has 9 bags of bricks separated into 6 building stages, including 1 bag of wheels and tires, 1 instructions book and 1 sticker sheet. 1106 pieces is a pretty big set, so I will be presenting the speed part of the video in stop motion mode. After that, we can have a look at the details together. Let's build. completed Lego Vespa 125 set. Aesthetically, this is incredible. It's a beautiful royal blue and we have lots of nice angles and curves on the whole build. Like the nice curve here where the footrest is, the rounded engine and the angle that the handles sit in. There's also a little bonus build on the side, which is a very vintage looking helmet. Goes very well with the vintage looking Vespa. There is a goggle attached to the helmet and also we have this chin strap, both in the brown, giving it that vintage leather look. Now the main body of our Vespa. We've got a few stickers used in this build and they're all relatively large sticker sheets. Such as this logo at the front, it's a whole big sticker sheet covering most of that tile. I think the colour of the sticker is relatively close to the royal blue brick in the background. From where I'm standing now, a bit of a distance, a 15 centimeter distance, I can't really tell it's a sticker unless I look at it closely. This pattern is also a sticker and the Vespa logo is also a sticker. This should be where the petrol tank is. That's also a large sticker sheet covering the whole tile. A couple more stickers here. So quite a few stickers used in this set. On this side, we can also see the number plate sticker and also the engine of the Vespa, which is also a sticker. You can see a bit of a build of the engine here at the bottom, kind of merges into this sticker pattern with a Kickstarter paddle. That's kind of adjustable. The color used here are quite consistent. We've got the royal blue, a light gray, and a navy blue, that's pretty much the main colour components. I think very tasteful and clean looking colour combo here. 
It's a pretty simple build. We've got the driver and passenger seats on the top of Vespa and a spare tire here. A little bit of a detail here. You can see a pedal here and also this grids on the footrest that add some friction for the feet. There's a rack at the bottom where the Vespa can display on and they've used two rubber pieces on the foot. That's a pretty good design, adds more friction and making the stand more stable. At the front, we've got this very metallic looking mechanism near the front wheels, stacked up by metallic silver round studs. Works very well here. And a very nice looking handle with a big round vintage looking headlight. The hand brakes on both sides and it's sitting on a nice angle made up with these cones very interestingly structured. This is the main moving part of this build and twisting the handle also at the same time controls the front wheel. Kind of an interesting piece here between the two handles. This is what I normally see used as a bin but upside down, boxy looking brake piece fits just right between the two handles. One of the highlights of this build is this amazing looking wheel and tire piece. I think they're both relatively new pieces. The tire is very thin and soft and the pattern on the tire is, I think, quite realistic looking. And actually a jewel molded wheel piece with grey and white. On the back of the Vespa we've got a very vintage looking crate and a bunch of flowers. I think that's something quite necessary to go with the Vespa. The flower bunch is very pretty. We've got a pretty little yellow flower bunch with the yellow flower pieces in the middle and also another outer layer which looks like yellow cracked egg pieces but works really well here. There you go, our Lego Vespa set. The building of it is actually relatively straightforward, nothing too challenging at all, but it definitely looks really good. A very nice display item and so far definitely a lot more stable than my Loz scooter set. I think I'll be displaying it next to my vintage Lego typewriter as part of my vintage collection.